Hello everyone, welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Well, in this week's weekly lesson, we're talking about cows that kill. Now, I know a few of you think that's a very funny story. It does sound rather strange, doesn't it? But yes, it's true. Cows do kill people here. And although the story sounds funny, it is actually deadly serious. I was reading a report yesterday from the BBC, which was speaking about cows knocking someone to the ground and then deciding to sit on them. I think part of the problem is that when we think of these kind of things, it brings up images which are just rather funny. I mean, cows are very docile. They wander around. They don't really have any difficulties. Uh, but yet here they are, killing people. Also, like a lot of news stories, the, the stories themselves are written in a way that makes cows look evil, <laughs> which is uh, perhaps a lesson for us about how the media treats all kinds of stories. It's very interesting. Right, well, anyway, um, I have a few related stories about cows today. Uh, they're not all completely about actual cows, but about how we talk about being herded off. You know, when cows move around, they, 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 they move around and we call them herds, a herd of cows. So you have a pack of dogs, I think plethora of ducks, is it? And when it comes to cows, it's herd. There's an R in there somewhere. H-E-R-D. It's not hard, it's herd with an E, a herd of cows. So cows move around in herds in the same way as wolves and dogs move around in packs. But sometimes if there's train delays, we use the word herd. Oh, I was herded off the train today when it stopped, um, is something you'll quite, uh, quite often hear if you're talking to a British commuter. Oh, we were treated like a herd of cows today the way the railway system asked us to leave. Um, so you hear that a lot, a herd of cows. We were herded off just like a herd of cows. It's one of these metaphors that we use a lot. Now, um, speaking of being herded away, I'm not sure if you've heard the latest news, but the mayor of London, yeah, uh, this is Sadiq Khan, he's decided to ban traffic from Oxford Street uh, to make more room for pedestrians. So he's basically going to close the street to all transports and it's going to become pedestrianised. Um, I'm not sure how long that's going to take uh, because I think they have to get it through our political system. But he's saying this is what he plans to do. The London mayor, by the way, is a, a position within politics, which has been around now, I think, for 20 odd years. There was Ken Livingston, Boris Johnson, before he became prime minister, and now Sadiq Khan. Um, let's have a read of this story. This is really interesting. It says here, plans to ban traffic from London's Oxford Street have been announced by Sadiq Khan, the Labour Mayor of London's proposal. The Labour Mayor of London's proposal. Let me read that again. Oh, I see. Yes. Yeah, so the Mayor of London's proposal, who is Labour, so Labour and Mayor, Labour is the adjective. The Labour Mayor of London, his proposal is part of a wider regeneration project that's supported by the government. The scheme is aimed at boosting the experience of shoppers, residents, workers and tourists. Oxford Street is one of the world's busiest shopping areas, 
with around half a million visitors each day. A previous attempt by Mr Khan to ban traffic from the road was blocked by the old Westminster City Council in 2018. But um, I think they've been replaced now with a government that may support this. Uh, Sadi Khan says, I want Oxford Street to once again become the leading retail destination of the world. And then he goes on to say how good it is. Yeah, I mean, I remember shopping in Oxford Street. It is nice. I wouldn't have said it's fantastic. <laughs> Probably prefer eBay. It's cheaper. But anyway, um, he says, we will want to know... Um, uh, we want to know, oh, I see, feedback from uh, everyone concerned. Yeah, so they can't just put this through. Uh, they always do a consultation, don't they, uh, to see what everyone thinks about it. And then he says here um, uh, that it's certainly going to be very good for the community. He says the transformation of Oxford Street will be a leading example of how working together, City Hall and the new government, we can build a better London for everyone. I would have thought they would have more things to worry about in making Oxford Street pedestrianised. I mean, isn't crime high in London at the moment? The last I heard, they had kind of big problems. But, uh, well, anyway... Will be nice if Oxford Street ever becomes pedestrianised. This is a proposal. It doesn't say here when it's going to happen, um, but uh, it does look like it's definitely going to be pushed through our government this time. So that's good to know, isn't it? That's a good thing to be aware of. Um, speaking of traffic and Oxford Street, there's another story here, which is, um, I thought, a little bit strange. It seems that they've decided, when I say they, the hospitals have decided that because traffic is so bad in London, they're now going to be using drones to transfer blood uh, between hospitals. Oh, can you imagine blood floating above you? It doesn't sound right, that, does it? And we're going to read through that story here as well. It says, drones to ferry blood samples between hospitals. Urgent blood samples taken from patients at a major London hospital are to be sent for analysis by drone to avoid traffic. Medics uh, at two of London's hospitals have launched a scheme where drones will be used to courier blood samples between its hospitals. Moving samples between hospitals can take more than half an hour by road using van or motorbike couriers. Oh, did they really use couriers to move blood? Oh no, oh no, no, I don't like that idea. Um, but they can be transported in less than two minutes by drone. Really? But what if the battery dies? What happens then? The blood just falls onto the street. Oh, no, I don't like that idea. It says here, the new six-month project... Six-month projects? This will be the first part of the rollout, I suppose, which is being regulated by the Civil Aviation Authority... That's the people who look after our aeroplanes. Will involve transporting blood samples from patients undergoing surgery who are at risk of complications from bleeding disorders. Hmm. The pilot scheme, which is being trialled with healthcare logistics company, or oh, there would always be one of them there, <laughs> people who are making money from this, I suppose. It says here, Drones have been used in other NHS trials to transport medical products, a recent research project by NHS Blood and Transplant. Oh, what, that's a department, is it? A recent research project by NHS Blood and Transplant found that drones can safely be used to deliver blood stocks between hospitals. 
test to assess the quality of the blood and whether it would still be viable for clinical use found no significant differences uh, in the blood that was flown or driven. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice to know. Um, I don't know how I feel about that, though, blood being flown above me. It does make me wonder what else is flown above me. Kidneys, organs, oh no. Oh, which reminds me, I need to go to the butcher today when I'm out. Anyway, that's the news today, uh, which is all about um, these drones, which will be carrying blood across London. Uh, and also that Oxford Street, one of the main shopping areas in central London, is going to become pedestrianised. Well, I don't see why not. I mean, they're pedestrianising everywhere else. The main streets in most towns around here are pedestrianised. It would be better for the economy, better for the environment. Um, although, you know, I do have some lovely memories of jumping on and off the back of the bus in the Oxford Street. You know those buses with the doors at the back? You used to be able to jump on them uh, when there was a, when they had bus conductors, I don't think they have those anymore. I think it's just random inspectors. So it's all change, isn't it? It's all change. So very, very interesting. Right, and there we are. That's it from me. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Just to recap, yeah, to be herded around is what we say when we are often delayed walking or even in the car. See you all. Bye.